Hello ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good morning. It's it's still very early, it's uh, a quarter to eight in the morning, stood up very, very early, because I went to bed very early. Well, last uh, time to the DP1 was posted, uh, I was uh, a very lucky guy because, uh, yeah, I installed Android 13 DP1. It was the Pixel 4, I think, um, GSI that I successfully installed. But will it happen again today? And will it as well happen on the S9? Well, um, you know, I like to film while doing it. So I don't have to film it, film it again and, and then wipe things again. You know, if it's on the machine, if it went right the first time and you film it, you don't have to film it again. And then you as the viewer tester, maybe you want to as well test uh, yeah, any of these GSIs on your S10. I'm talking about the Exynos models. I don't know about the Snapdragon models, but I think, yeah, common sense say that uh, these phones should as well be treble supported. So if, if you have twerp installed, your bootload, I mean your bootload is unlocked and you have twerp installed, then I think it's up to you to try to see which one of these GSIs actually functions on your machine because GSIs are as well created for Snapdragon devices. They are for Snapdragon, Exynos, for, for all sorts of devices and phones and they contain all sorts of drivers. So yeah, the common sense say that, that the Snapdragon S10s and S9s out there should as well be able to, to, to run some GSI, but I don't know, I don't have these devices, so I cannot tell and you should not take my word for um yeah so i have um i had android 13 installed on my s10 but then um i was yeah i don't even know what i was doing i was testing some i don't know what i did oh yeah i remember i created a custom stock from the android 12 but i failed so yeah i need to um update my skills even more because it's kind of yeah a little bit uh, more stressful than the lower builds 10 and 9 etc but let's not talk about that but this phone is bricked at this moment uh, we're gonna do a format data and then we're gonna copy the gsi that i downloaded uh, the dp2 pixel 4.1 uh, to the phone i as well download downloaded two other builds they're coming in very very slow but just be patient and they will finally arrive i downloaded the 5 pixel 5 as well dp2 and the pixel 6 pro i don't think that one will work but you know you never know so let me put you on the tripod welcome again on this friday morning um i hope you're doing okay there yeah peace be with you and let me uh let me show you what i'm gonna do Welcome back peeps. I'm here with my Samsung Galaxy S10 and I format the data um, and in fact I, I installed a ROM that in fact failed. Uh, so yeah let's just do a little uh, wipe data catch Dalvik system. Yeah and let's then go ahead and install the first ROM. This is a bridge and that is Lineage OS 18.1 that you can get from lineageos.org. Okay, so download it, copy it, make sure that you have it on the phone. And then um, after a wipe data reset or a format data and then a reboot back into Twerp, uh, copy the Lineage OS 18.1 to the phone and then start with installing it okay this will be a temporary install and in no way you will uh, boot this rom that we are installing right now we will not boot it because it will only uh, be as a base so um, the phone will understand the android 13 that we're gonna install we're gonna go for the pixel 5 okay we had pixel 4 last month the dp1 and now we go for pixel 5 dp2 all right so now we're gonna reboot back into a recovery 
Okay, that's very important. There it is. Uh, hit the power. And let's go into a recovery. And now uh, we're gonna do the craziest thing ever, and that is we're gonna wipe Dalvik system catch data. And now we're gonna install the GSI. We select system, the GSI to the system partition. And this is the Pixel 5 DP2, Android 13, Teramisu. We let it install. Almost there. Okay, and now we do the craziest thing ever. We're gonna format data. We confirm with yes. And then we're gonna reboot. So show me, show me. Show me Samsung Galaxy S10. Show me Android 13. On. On. Yes. Tutum. 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 Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, but we're not there yet. We only shot the bird, but it's still flying. It can still fly away. Okay, we shot the bird in the wing, but it's still flying. Will it fall? Yes, in three, two, one. Ha <laughs> ha, we did it, Pete. Madame and Monsieur, we did it. We did it. The Wi-Fi is working very, very nice. The screen is not too dark. Setup offline. Oh, thank you, Nippon, 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 Nippon. Nippon, if you were a woman, I would marry you. What? <laughs> Nippon! No, I don't want pin. I don't want like these kinds of things. Because I forget my pin, you know? I don't like pin. I only like ping, ping, ping. All set, swipe up to, okay, this was a problem the last time. As well, it's all good. Boom, let's go home. No, 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 no. Like this. Oh wait, gesture navigation is as well, nice. What? Uh, uh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at is uh, Android 13 on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Mui uh, Dark Team available for you and for those that have bad eyes. Just scale the text and make it a little bit bigger uh, like this. And the display size you make as well, nice and big. Oh, uh, not too big, otherwise the icons will get too big and it's not nice. Hey, font size, no man. Hold on, like this. I think this should look good and the display size should not be too big. Like this. Mm. So it looks nice, like a mobile just uh, said hello to us. So we can as well make phone calls. Oh, look at that new dialer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Très, très joli. Let me listen to my baby. Let me see how she's doing this morning. Welcome by Leica Mobile. Uh Let me één drukken op je. Ik ga één en twee ga ik drukken. Mm -mm -mm. Did you see that nice phone, ladies and gentlemen? So, um, yeah, we succeeded. We succeeded and uh, the S10 uh, just received Android 13 with the compliments of Nippon and uh, brought to you by, of course, channel 48, mm -hmm. channel 48 as first in the world, uh, world's first as we French people say, huh? we French people say uh, world first. Uh, Le World uh, First Android, uh, I don't know how to say 13 in French, but Android 13 for Le Très Joli Samsung 
S10, madame et monsieur. No, I didn't say too much. We did it. Android 13 on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Developers Preview 2. So now I'm gonna play a bit with it. Um, yeah, I cannot tell you if everything works, such as GPS and all these things, but big chance or oh, everything works, you know? Uh, so I will, yeah, what shall I do with this GSI? I will just link to it. If it's really slow and you cannot download it from SourceForce, you know, let me know. And then I will upload it to my G drive temporary. So you can still test the GSI if you need it. Okay, I downloaded uh, three GSIs. Uh, the four, uh, the five, and the six. I can start with telling you that the four and the six, at least the six I did not test, but the four was, I think, not working on the S10, uh, but the five did work with, after doing my little tricks uh, that I did not do uh, before trying Pixel 4. So maybe Pixel 4 as well works, uh, but I went for Pixel 5 uh, this time. So we did a little upgrade, you know, from Pixel. At least we went from Pixel 4 to Pixel 5. And yeah, now we have uh, the developer's preview 2. Not 1, 2. Now it's actually saying Android 13. Hello, waiter, can I have a tiramisu, please? Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up so many more people get to see this video. So please share this video, share the message, like the video, leave a comment and yeah, make me happy. All right, and then I'm wishing you a fantastic day because I as well have some other phones uh, to come in my next video. Um, that will be for the S2 by Rinando. It just got updated to uh, 19.1 we're gonna install that onto the s2 um the g500 as well got the update by david uh, i'm gonna see and take a look what it is phone is not working this is not working. maybe i should not make a video about it yet um so i'm gonna wait a little bit or let me know in the comments what you think that i should do um and of course the samsung galaxy s9 another flagship uh, that I will as well present a beautiful new ROM. But for the S10, I'm very happy for the rest of the month. And I see you back uh, in DP3. I might make a little video of how it all works and how it treats me. Uh, but I can say after being for at least three weeks on Android uh, 13, uh, DP1, I was, yeah, I, I never complained one day, everything worked. Uh, filming went went amazingly good i used open camera so yeah there's no camera installed so maybe you you can get that yourself or just do a google uh, store update i was as well using it with aurora store works very nice together with the google play store uh, so yeah again a beautiful gsi yeah pixel 5 android 13 but now for the samsung galaxy s10 thank you for watching leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you did not already yeah and then you'll be seeing me in the next video again until then bye bye